Peach Mountain is a mixture of some classic sections from the 2011 and 2012 USA Cycling Gravity National Championships and some new ones mixed in. It's got plenty of rocks. We could get some rain, but don't put your mud spikes on or you'll be sliding everywhere through this pro rock garden. beautiful high country of North Carolina at Beach Mountain Resort. The weather has been absolutely stunning for the past week. There's been barely any rain, so this course is primed and ready to go. But I gotta say, after a few hundred runs and a bunch of tires, this thing is getting loose as we work our way towards seating. Malali put down a stormer in seating to take the top spot over Steve Estabrook. He landed in second with his teammate Titus Nicholson in third. Pro women seating, it was Abby Ronka on top taking first place. Caroline Washam was just a couple seconds back and Zana Logar was in third. Jack, what happened? Because the power went out, so everyone's stuck on the lift. So, should be interesting. Looking towards race day, Abby Ronka has a commanding lead in the overall standings. When we look to the pro men, it's anyone's game. It's mustache versus mullet, with Jake Kahn and Steve Estabrook separated by just one point. Our winners here at Downhill Southeast, our season finale at Beach Mountain. Abby Ronka took her first win in the pro women over Caroline Washam and Zana Logar rounded out our podium in third place. For pro men, it was all Nico Malali on race day with a four second margin. Titus Nicholson slotted into second place and Jake Kahn rounded out our podium. Jake Kahn in third place was enough for him to eclipse Steve Estabrook in the overall standings for the pro men. 
Abby Ronka put an exclamation point on her series title by taking the win at Beach. Shell Peugeot was in second for the series, and Zana Logar rounded out our series points chase. It was really good because I could not get a win all season, and there was one race left, and I was like, damn, this is the one I need to do good in. And I did, and then I got the overall two, which was very exciting. I'm sad Michelle did not race with me, but still very excited. The track was bone dry. We kind of had some threats of rain all weekend, and even today it was a little foggy at the top, but the track stayed dry and dusty and perfect. Third place on the day, first on the series, you just can't ask for more than that. A lot of good memories from racing at Beach, and now it's close to my, my house, so uh, yeah, stoked to race here. The track was really fun, the conditions were good this weekend. Yeah, the series was great. We had a ton of new faces out here. Uh, all the tracks were really good. That's an important thing for us when we choose the venues is we want to have tracks that represent downhill. And I think this series really required a good downhill racer to be uh, consistent across all the races. And I thought it went well. I had a lot of fun. And uh, that's kind of why we started it was to have good downhill races locally. And I think we checked the box. Thank you so much to SRAM, our title sponsor for the 2022 Downhill Southeast. It was our largest season yet with six rounds. We can't wait to see what's in store for 2023. We'll see you guys at the races.